Oh, you're done for, my friend. I'm really sorry. I really wish you wouldn't fight him so close to the storage unit, though, you know? Man, I thank God I did not mess with this mega crab. I was contemplating it, and that would have been a really, really bad idea. All right, we are back in Kenshi with Azagami and his crew. Now, in the last episode, we took the scout team out to Bast. Uh, I've been interested in getting them into some more scuffles uh, so they can start building a little bit more experience. Uh, and that was one of the things I was considering doing today. We're going to pretty much get right into it. But when I was weighing my options for what I wanted to do, uh, one of the things I'm going to do uh, very soon, maybe even this, even in this episode, is uh, we're going to take Thinly down to the stone camp uh, to cause some problems for them because we were raided in the last episode uh, and it was a, a pathetic attempt and quite frankly I, I'm growing tired of these guys. So if anything we'll take Thinly down maybe when night falls to cause some trouble uh, but perhaps we'll put together a team of some mercenaries and the scout team and Thinly and the like uh, and head down and maybe give it one more try but maybe pay a little bit more attention to the... Uh, the noble house that was in there where all the level 60 and 70 guys were. Maybe we'll take Thinly down to do some scouting, but we're not doing that right away. The thing we're going to do first is when I was taking a look at this and considering my options, I realized we uh, went exploring a number of episodes ago and we went down to this Howler Maze area and I intended to explore the whole thing and we only got as far as these looted ruins because I found a bunch of crab eggs and we turned right around to sell them because it looked like they were worth a lot of money and they sure indeed were. So I think what we might do uh, first, since it's, uh, early in the morning, uh, I might take the scout team down to this and see what it's like. I mean, I want to get the scout team kind of beat up anyway. Um, I'm not really looking to necessarily, like, blatantly risk their lives, so we're not going to go do something too stupid. But when we went here, there was just, like, crabs. Here, at least. So maybe we'll, like, we'll peek in and just see what this road has to offer. Um, and see what's, what's going on in here, if it's an absolute giant nightmare. Um, because that might serve both of the, uh, things I was looking to get done, which is to get the scout team some more experience, a couple of beatings under their belt, I suppose, the best way to level up in Kenshi. And since these guys are all getting into the, the higher levels, I mean, we're in the middle of a dust storm, so they're negative five for weather penalty, but everybody's, like, in the high 30s, early 40s, except for the, um, bounty hunters we took on, Ganu, Atmos, and Dan D. Yeah, so, like I said... Uh, want to get these guys knocked around a little bit because that is the best way, uh, to level up. And the things that are coming to attack us, the things that we're kind of running into, aren't really doing the job. And that's a surefire way to slowly level up. So, the, uh, slave raids and the starving vagrants that are ransacking our town aren't really, uh, making it happen. Without fear or care, we are just going to directly saunter past the, uh, stone camp here. Contract with Iron Company has ended. What? When did I contract the Iron Company? I don't remember hiring... I didn't hire any mercenaries. Me. Uh, security is getting attacked. By whom? What the hell is going on here? Oh, this is just not... This is not the ideal thing to see. Can you guys... There you... Oh, what? Wow. This is... Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it's better than when I had the guys on the roofs and they would just pile into the uh, buildings, but they really love going for the crossbowmen. I'm assuming their AI prioritizes uh, anybody on crossbows, which kind of makes sense. But yeah, case in point, these level uh, 9 attack plus 8 uh, enemies aren't really doing the job. Yeah, these guys aren't really doing the trick for getting us leveled up, so... We, uh, we gotta find tougher, tougher foes to face. And like I said, I'm not, I, I've, uh, we're, we're kind of in a spot where, like, we, I feel safe enough. Like, that's a dangerous thing to say in Kenshi. Like, I'm gonna lose key people right now because of that. Who is this? Life Trader. Um, but, like, they can kind of handle where they are. Um, and I'm not necessarily looking to, like, throw them into, like, beak thing territory and just see who survives. Um, but we could probably start taking on more, like, higher level enemies, like the Blood Raiders last time. And even, you know, one of the things I was contemplating had I not, uh, kind of 
landed on wanting to go into this howler maze is uh, maybe raiding uh, Fort Simeon. Oh, and to that end, actually, we picked up... Oh, did I? Yeah, there we go. So there's a Greenlander male named Simeon. Wanted. For $20,000. I picked this up in Stoat from the bar. For $20,000. Now, there's a huge possibility that that's just a random name generated for, from Kenshi, or like that's just a name of a, a bandit, but I'm also wondering if that actually is Simeon. I.e. Fort Simeon. We went out there once and uh, ran into some trouble with uh, the rebel farmers because they're just kind of jerks. I mean, they're starving and I feel bad for them. I'd like to help them out, but it's not how the AI wants to play it, so. <laughs> so yeah, that was one of the other things I was considering, which... You know, maybe we'll make a, um, we'll make an episode of it and do some bounty hunting. We'll try to get that guy. I would say he's a rebel farmer, which it seems like their tactic is strength in numbers. Which is what my tactic was. Um, and I would assume that he's probably like, you know, level 20, level 30. But this is, again, also Kenshi, so he's probably like level 75. <laughs> Surrounded by a special complement of rebel farmer guards that are also level 60 and 70. Yeah, very interesting. I think even last time we didn't run into anybody along the way. Like, there's no... There's no robot spiders. There's no... Like, roving bandits of raiders. There was just the crabs on the other side of the river. I don't know. There's the place we went last time. I think we're just gonna go right back for that, right? May as well. Let's see, let's see what it takes to get across the river. I picked a spot across, right? Yeah, just let them do what they're gonna do. Also, I finally got the police chief to take the, um, take the bounty, and they did not give us more money. He had the same dialogue. He was like, oh, looks like you got somebody there. You want to, uh, turn him in? Does that mean there's treasure? That's what you said last time. And there was. I mean, sort of. You know, I also think I didn't open any, uh, buildings because I got scared of a giant crab. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, there's a whole bunch of crabs. And there's crab eggs again. Alright, let's get over here. Uh, I wonder if crabs are going to be a pain in the ass. Crab pups. They're level 12. They're very dexterous. There's just so many of them. That could be a problem. Man, look at all those crab eggs. Also, security getting attacked again. Of course. Nope, it's the same person. Who? What? Teaspoon? Dying? Hold on a second. Ikaria dying? Who is this? Slave traders, are you fucking kidding me? Who is this? Teaspoon? Mm. Izumi, can you first aid Ikaria like immediately? Are we literally getting slave raided? What the hell? This doesn't look so good. Oh my god. No, 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 no. How's everybody doing? Zoomy. First aid. Do you not have pickup? Oh, you have, uh, find and put in bed. What do you, where are you going? Medic. Alright, that's fine. Oh, this is making me really want to go fucking kill a bunch of slave traders. <laughs> Throw all these people out. Get them out of here. And then a Zoomy. Put people in beds. Where are you going to medic? Who's hurt? Really? How bad? Oh, jeez Louise. Man. You guys got fucking surprised. I know what it is. It's because they come in here. They come in here. They get good and drunk. And they beat my place up. I don't care for it. All right, whatever. Let's go have a look at the scout team. Make sure they're, they're okay. So here's the question. Do I try to attack some crabs? <laughs> this is gonna be a bad idea. I'd like to grab these crab eggs. Let's do this. Takiyasu. Why don't you attack this one crab? From here. Where are you doing it from? Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it from right there. No, no, no. no. Right here. There you go. Right here. No, 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 no. Get over here. Just do it from here. You don't have to run up to them. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, a couple are coming running. All right, now the whole team's coming running. Oh, we're kind of choked off here. This could be a bad maneuver. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's run everybody out somewhere where we're not so uh, funneled. Let's get everybody over here, and if we got to fight a bunch of crabs, we'll do it. I'm interested in those crab eggs, so. It was like $24,000 last time. They didn't even give chase. Oh my god. Alright, I think we kind of have to do this. Let's get the archers attacking a, a crab. Come on, archers. Nice. Do it from here, though. Also, please don't line up on each other. Beautiful. Come on, put him down. Dandy, don't get bit. Or whatever happens with crabs. <laughs> Alright, we come in. Let's see how these guys do. Ooh, they attack pretty hard. No, 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 don't! Don't push forward. Get over here. Stop pushing forward! Stay back! How did we do? I just want to get a look at how, how hard we hit on them. Hmm. Sabi took a little little bit of a whack. So did Waki. Alright, let's run again. Let's run out of the way. Everybody out of the way. Oh, you know what we're doing here? We're luring them away from their eggs. Alright, let's see. It's a little baby. We'll let we'll fight these three. Oh my goodness. Stop getting Stop being so far forward! Look at you! You're getting hurt! Beautiful. Man, it's the dexterity. It's gotta be. Look at how fucking- oh my god. Okay, no, we're not fucking- <laughs> We're not gonna get killed by crabs. Everybody run. Jeez Louise, fucking Christ. I'll tell you what we can do, though. Looks like we can outrun some crabs. For sure. Let's get up here. Bloody, it's just my luck. Alright, everybody get over here. And just do your healing. You know you want to. There you go. Oh, poor Waki. All right, who's fast like the wind? 29, 29. Looks like 29 is going to be the best. All right, Nakama, and you got a stackable bag, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. Nakama, go grab some eggs. See if you can do it, Nakama. I know you can. Oh, they're coming at... They're coming at... <laughs> no, they're going to protect their eggs. No, guys, don't all run in. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here, we're gonna get them away from their eggs. Come on. Get away from your eggs! No, 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 Okay, we're gonna run through the center. Get them all. Come on. Up this way, guys. Who the fuck is this? Matsukata? You're gonna get killed by crabs there, pal. They're not gonna like what you're doing. Yeah, they lose interest too fast. And then they go right back to what they're doing. Nakama, I really want a crab egg, though. You know? Kind of really want one. <laughs> Here's what we'll do. We'll put everybody else on hold. And Nakama, you run get a crab egg. Oh, nice. How about don't run through the center of them, though? You know, maybe? Oh, yes! Run! No, you can't hurt <laughs> Oh, they're too slow. I love it. Come on. Grab crab eggs. Go! Grab them! Are we getting attacked? Oh shit, we are getting attacked. No, we're not. We're just attacking. I love it. Beautiful. Nakama, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Come get me over here. You can't do it. You're too slow. Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. That's this guy. I was like, holy shit, we're getting killed. Come on, Nakama. Keep luring him away. Look at these stupid crabs. <laughs> Look how they walk.
So much for your eggs there, fellas. Did they kill this guy? No, holy shit! Yo, what? That... Uh, I don't care for that at all, my friend. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could take on the last of them. Alright. Who are you fighting? Who's left? Here, let's help this guy. I feel bad. We'll help him out. Oh. Nakama, come up here. Don't fight by yourself. Why would you do such a thing? That's a terrible idea, Nakama. You gotta, you gotta get out of there. Nakama! Also, you have a... You, <sighs> Nakama, you have a ranged weapon. Knock it off. Nakama, I'm going to kill you. You have to stop. Beautiful. Crab nest wiped out. What do these things have? Meat? Hmm, that's not bad. Are we getting acid rained? Yeah, we are. That's fine. I was not expecting that. And now I have to deal with it. <laughs> Alright, well, we got all their... This is why I didn't come through here. We got all their, um... All their eggs. Let's see if we can find a place to, uh... Get out of the rain. Unexpected. Uh, let's uh, open this door and I'm gonna regret it. One of these doors is just gonna have... Uh... An entire... Team... Of crabs pile out. And it's this one. Alright. <laughs> let's see if it's both of them. It is not. Oh, and it stopped raining, so who cares? Alright. Let's head up to the road. We've learned that we are... Not that great against crabs. We insist on fighting them, though, no matter what. Alright, so we're not really uh, top-notch against crabs, but I don't know that that's really a problem. We, like I said, we wanted to get beat up a bit. Our toughness could probably all go up. Eh. Yeah. Vivi certainly could. BB, you're gonna you're gonna keep taking some lumps, and uh, maybe we can find some more ruins. We shall see. Oh, I see a town. Here we go. There is a city out here. Let us see if we can get to that city without getting killed by crabs. Is it crabs off around the entire island? Do crabs howl? What does howler mean? <laughs> uh. The city hasn't loaded in, so I can't tell if it's a ruin, but it sure looks... Yeah, it's a ruin. Yeah, Alright. Let's get out by this crab here. Let's pick up the pace. Uh, I say we're going to attack this crab. Unprovoked. Actually, let's get you guys off to the side. And, uh, please, for the love of all this holy... Stop melee attacking fucking crabs. Beautiful. Oh, we're getting fucking hurt. My god, these things fucking hit! Jesus Christ! Alright, if you want to raise toughness, fight crabs, apparently. It's that dexterity. I'm guessing. They're all pretty high. Alright, how's everybody looking? <laughs> oh, god. Damn. Alright, we're not gonna pick fights with every single crab we see. I'm assuming this entire- yeah, I see a big giant crab over here. I see a million little crabs over here, and a bunch of crab eggs, too. Hmm. Alright. We're not gonna pick fights with every crab we ever saw. Because it is proving to be a little tougher. <laughs> than I expected. And I would like to get into this city. Wait, is this a gigantic crab? Adult. Mega crab. Jesus Christ, that'll Oh my god. Oh, that'll fucking kill us. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. <laughs> that's a uh that's a plan for it type of fight. That's like uh don't get hurt on your way out here and have everybody show up half health, show up ready to fight, and then fight that thing. Oh, a library. Alright. Where can we safely chill for a second? We might send somebody in 
smartly with this. Let's chill up here. Everybody just relax. Alright, Hiramatsu, how are you looking? Your legs work? Oh, you're 100%. Hiramatsu, you are up. 17% chance? I love it. Why don't you come pick this lock? Uh, you best be in sneak. Alright, nobody can see her. She's a shadow in the broad daylight. I love it. Look at her. Look at her go. Nobody even knows she's here. No crab ever stood a chance. Alright, get that lock open. And stay stealthed. Where's the mega crab? Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, sneak it up. And, uh, get inside and launch the crab attack. Alright, good, now. Alright, where's the mega crab? There, I see the mega crab. Who's got room? Dandy, and your stealth is good too, right? Yeah. Alright, Dandy. Come on down. Alright, Dandy, raid the place. Nice, this is already worth it. Holy hell. Uh-oh. Hiramatsu, can you get this open? Very easily. I love it. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Oh, this was such a good idea. Oh, my God. Outpost type 1, I cannot learn that. Outpost type 2, I cannot learn that. An old treasure map. Hells yeah. Ancient military documents. This looks like it could be valuable. Uh, it details the location of an old empire military cache. It might have some valuable equipment. <laughs> All right. An engineer's map. I already know the location, so we can sell that one. Oh my god, thank you for the ancient science books. And, uh, let's head upstairs. Oops. Oh my god, I'm so glad we came here. Alright. Hiramatsu. Get back over by Azagami. Will you open that door on your own? You absolutely will. Is there anything else that's locked here? Oh. Uh, what is this? Large storage. Mmm. That's right at the Mega Crab's, like, whole deal. <laughs> oh, I don't know. How fast is a fucking Mega Crab? Not that fast. Run speed is 12 miles an hour. Alright, I say we do it. When else are we going to be out this way? You know? This is a little disconcerting. I don't know that he's going to be able to get through here. <laughs> That's slow. Oh, look at that fucking crab. Alright, we're going to go the long way. It's fine. Oh, shit. Oh, I, did, I thought they were going to cut through here, but it's blocked off. I did not realize that. Oh, my God. No, they did not even see us. It doesn't matter. Who cares? I love it. Oh, my God. There's so many of these things. Okay, who's looking? Who sees Dan D? Oh, shit. What is this? Tech Hunters. Who cares? Guys, I don't need to know that you see me. I have no interest in that. Let's do this. Let's pick this lock. And see if that crab notices us. It doesn't look like he sees us. That's fine. And uh, let's see if these tech hunters fight that giant crab, huh? Alright, the, the... The crab sees us! Run! No, 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 not everybody. No, 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 no. Here, Matsu. Out, 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 out. Here, bring the, uh... Bring the mega crab over by the tech hunters. <laughs> Let them deal with it. What? He runs over them? What is this bullshit? Oh, I don't care for that at all. All right, we are faster than you, so I do not care. Dandy, do not be reloading right now. I am not kidding about that. Do not be shooting at mega crabs. Yo, this is some bullshit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, a hundred and... Okay. I am glad we ran. Holy- oh my god! Damn it! Yo, he's one-shotting people! Oh, bad, too. We don't even have anywhere near enough to deal with that. Oh, I'm so glad I saw this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, you're done for, my friend. I'm really sorry. I really wish you wouldn't fight him so close to the storage unit, though, you know? Jesus, are you kidding me? 1,000- Oh my goodness! 
I will- sorry guys. There's nothing I can do for you. Man, they're gonna be fucking- they're gonna be drawing the attention of this fucking crab for like 20 minutes as they keep getting up. Alright, she's got this. Where's Dan D? Dan D, you get over here and don't fight things. <gasps> she got it! Holy shit! Hiramatsu, get inside. Both of you, in. Dan, get in! This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Alright. Well, we're not- I can't undo it, so it's done. <laughs> Alright, he doesn't know shit. What's up? What's in here? Nothing. Okay, good. I mean, there's plenty of storage, but there's nothing dangerous. <laughs> Alright, well, hopefully we're not stuck in here forever. Oh, shit! Okay. Well, sure. Here, Dan, you take some of this stuff. Man, I thank God I did not mess with this mega crab. I was contemplating it, and that would have been a really, really bad idea. Well, there's actually a lot of, um, a couple of sleeping bags in here, and a bed. That is, uh, incredibly kind <laughs> of the developer, considering there is a mega crab outside. Alright, fuck mega crabs. Holy shit, man. That was unexpected. All right, let's let everybody catch up. We were just in the lost town. All right. Uh, man, this is fucking scary. <laughs> I guess we'll go to the end of the road. I'm a tad nervous about doing that, but man, it's too bad nobody killed that mega crab because uh, it would have been nice to have the guy sleep in there. But fuck that thing! Holy Jesus Christ! One thing. Oh, look at how fast it's healing, too. But Azagami's got a head wound. Everybody's just got a bunch of wounds. <laughs> but it's not doing too good. We're gonna watch out. We're not gonna try to get in any more scuffles. But if uh, if we can get through here, I mean, I, I uh, knock on wood. We haven't seen anything worse than. I mean, a mega crab is pretty frightening. I I can't underline that enough. That's pretty terrifying. Um. But there hasn't been bandits in here. And so far we found two old ruins. I, I feel like pushing my luck just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're faster than everything we've seen so far, so... I don't see beak things on the horizon. Let me just pause here. Is this another city? No. The sun is rising. On this crab infested heck hole. I see another crab that kind of blends in even better for some reason. I don't care for that. No brown crabs. Red crabs only. Alright. What's on this side of the ridge? Nothing. That's actually good. That's it. There might be more stuff, but... Hmm. I don't want to push it. I would push it if there was definitely something. Like, if I saw something, I'd be like, yes. Let's, uh, let's try to get back. Let's see what that does for us. Try to get back without fighting a bunch of crabs. This place is a frightening hellhole. I don't care for mega crabs. And quite honestly, I don't care for crabs either. <laughs> I have learned. I am not f a fan of crabs. Alright, finally we return home. We're gonna drop off some food and then go uh, sell uh, our crab eggs, I think. Crab eggs and whatever the hell else. We got a bunch of things. We got stuff. We have stuff to sell. Actually, you know what maybe we'll do? Let's take these guys up to uh, Shobatai. We'll take the scout team out to Shobatai. And, um... Fight our way out there if we have to. And, uh, we'll either head into or get them set up for heading into... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we'll either head into or get them set up for heading into rebel, uh, farmer territory. Depending on how long it takes us to get out there. What it looks like along our- along our journey. And who is this? Slave hunters. Well, let's go have a word with them. Looks like we got ourselves some escaped slaves. You guys are as dumb as they come. Let's toss you up there. Let's line you up nice. Beautiful. 
Oh, your friends aren't even coming to help you. There they go. Man, your friends just left you to die. <laughs> Guys, don't let this guy creep up on you. Thank you very much. Man. Jeez Louise. Alright, we will for sure take their, um... Their heavy plate shirts. I should probably put a- put somebody, one or two people on this scout team in heavy armor. And set them up to taunt. Not at the exact moment, but soon. All right, we're gonna get ourselves into Shobatai, sell all the crap we gotta sell, and then I think we'll we'll head out towards Rebel Farmer territory. We'll probably scout for this episode, and I think the uh, next episode will be a full-on assault. Beautiful. Thank you. One hundred and forty-two thousand dollars. I am very happy with that. That means we made about forty-two thousand dollars because I think I started out with like or forty. I think we started out with with uh one hundred and two. I think. I'll know once I edit. <laughs> uh, I say, let's, uh, let's get out towards the edge of the Great Desert. We don't have Thinly with us on us this time, so that's good. Uh, he caused a little bit of a, a kerfuffle in the distant high village. I need to check your stuff. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's fine. All right, here's the plan. We're going to get out to Fort Simeon. And we're going to take a look. Now, just getting out to Fort Simeon the last time we came out here meant a fight or two, if I recall correctly. So I'm kind of prepped for that. We're definitely not going to be all out assaulting Fort Simeon with just our scout team alone. But I'd like to get a sense. I didn't even really, I wasn't really paying attention when we went up to it last time. Um, because I didn't expect it to be hostile. So we're going to get a sense of what's going on in there. If we have to... Uh, hmm, Shobatai is, I guess, the closest place. I wonder if anybody's in Drin. Drin is like a run-down little city. I think it has a bar. I bet there's not tech hunters or mercenaries of any kind in there. Like, I would run back out to grab some mercenaries to come back and assault the place. Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look. I don't know. It's rebel farmers. They're usually hungry. They're usually weak. It could be nothing. I'm a little um, gun shy after the uh, the stone camp, <laughs> thinking we were doing such a good job, and then running into the nobles and their guards. Um, has me just a little concerned that this could uh, that if this uh, this Simeon is the uh, eponymous. Simeon of Fort Simeon That he's gonna be like level 70. I and mean, what does this thing say? What do we say here? He's a bandit leader. Mmm bandit leader. Mm, I don't know. One for multiple counts of- I don't know if it's gonna be the same guy. Murder and robbery. He preys upon travelers and merchants growing stronger and more powerful in numbers. Simeon has a vicious army under his control. Mm. Traveling the desert though. I don't know. I don't know. He's got an army, he's a bit. why are we running? Skimmer, whatever. Alright. Let's get ourselves up over here. And let's send, uh, we'll send Hiramatsu to the front gate. And see what they have to say about us. How much do they not like us? Um, uh, you know, not the worst. I think it's negative 50 for attack on sight, if I recall correctly. Uh, let's all get into sneak. And let's get, uh, Hiramatsu breaking off. And, uh, she's the fastest. So she's just gonna run to the front. Yeah, there's nobody the f No one's in here. We could just take this place. Oh, door's locked. Door's closed. A domesticated bull. Kashino. Manatsu. Oh, there's a bounty for you. There's another bounty. These are low bounties, though. Man, there, there's, there's, there's three houses in here. This one's open. All right, let's get, let's get close to the front door. Let's get right here. 
Like, where are you running off to? Home territory aggression. Oh. Well, there's a... Something to be aggressive about. Maybe we take advantage of the fact that they're about to have an all-out fight with slave traders. Are they getting raided? You got any food for us? Sniff. <laughs> Look at her just standing here. Alright. They're fighting. Alright, I'm bringing Azagami up. I'm bringing him up. I'm doing it. I'm bringing him up. What's it gonna hurt? Hiramatsu, get back on uh, bodyguard duty. Did you get hit? No, you're fine. You're watching them fight. Those slave traders have to defeat these guys. Also... Uh, we could... we could really luck out. <laughs> Picking up... loose bounties they knocked down. Slave hunters? That's a slave hunter? Huh. Let's get ourselves right up to the front. And just watch this unfold. <laughs> I want to see this door open. Someone's got to get out here. Also, if uh, Ibayashi falls, I'm taking Ibayashi and I will fucking kill these slave hunters myself. Who's this? We're looking also for um, Simeon. I'm guessing that's just the name. Cannon. Hmm. I love that we just came to watch this unfold. <laughs> just watch these. You know, slave hunters, if you came over here, you'd have a better time. Man, I really want to fucking go... Here, Matsu. Go unlock this door. Get on sneak. Go unlock this door. I want to see what's in here. Get on sneak. They're watching, but they don't even notice you. You're, again, a shadow. In the daytime. 90% lockpick chance. She's disappeared. I love it. Door's opening. No, no, no. Get over here. Also, sneak. Why don't you go see what's in here? <laughs> I am so stupid. Hiramatsu, can you please be on sneak? Thank you. Alright. It's a bar. Or a house. We've got Sakawa, level 32, meh, level 36. I knew this was going to be this way. Level 41. Oh, shit. Boss Simeon, $20,000. That's got to be him. That's him. Oh, yeah, for sure. Wanted Simeon. He's level, he's not even that high level. We could probably take this. There's a lot of dudes in here. Man, there's a lot of these guys. Mmm. I could do this with one mercenary company. I say that, but, like, let's also... You know what? Let's actually do that. I was gonna say, let's check what's in the rest of these. Let's go see what's in here. Step inside. Alright. This is not a bar, either. Oh, this is, like, their training facility. <laughs> Oh, they're all low level. See, these guys, yeah, we could definitely take these guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> it took a whack. Alright, Sasabi, get back over there. The fuck am I doing? I don't know, my friend. Alright, Hiramatsu. See if you can open this. <laughs> We're doing dumb shit. Uh-oh. They see us. I don't give a shit. I must be out of my damn mind. Who's saying that? A slave hunter. Uh, you guys don't have anything worth stealing. I feel bad for you anyway. Alright, let's check each of their houses. They don't seem to mind that we're in here, even though they, they attack us on sight, usually. Oh, this is such a raidable city. These guys don't seem to care. My biggest issue is going to be... Small numbers, and then this becoming a problem once we start to raid. If there ever was a good time, it would be while they're all distracted with slave hunters, but... Man, they really don't care that we're here. 
This is so weird. They fucking straight up attacked us like five feet. Oh shit. See, this is the other thing you gotta worry about. Is these guys coming home. <laughs> yeah, that could turn the fucking tides. If there ever was a good time to do this, it would be now. Yeah, you know, it's probably better with mercenaries that are on my side. If I'm gonna start a problem, not have people that are already dead and not on my side. I'll tell you what we will do, though. Let's get up in front of these guys and see if we can pull, pull them away from the base and see if these guys attack us. If it's just when they're in their own base they don't attack? I don't know, because they just attacked us on sight last time. They were like, fuck you guys in particular for no reason. Let's get over here. If they attack us... Get a little further away from their base. I don't want to draw people out of their base to come attack us. But if they attack us, let's also face them so they don't hit us from behind. Man, they don't seem to care. I do not know what's up with that. Alright, Sasabi. Pick this person up. That's gonna make them fucking pissed off, probably. No, they don't care. Weird. We must have done something to piss them off. Or maybe they just need to be far enough from their base. Gonna you know, just walk into the dead center of town and just see what they do. <laughs> I'm so perplexed by this. <laughs> I'm guessing it's just like a, like a town AI. Let's walk in here and see if we could talk to this dude. Oh, we can. Mmm. I guess if we're not sneaking, we can talk to him. Alright, let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. Alright, we're gonna talk to him. Gnu, you got point. Who the fuck are you? Be wanting my bounty, I expect, huh? That's all that ye plump traders, mercenaries, and townies are interested in, after all, ain't it? Don't matter whose pocket the cats are in, as long as you can line your own with them. And we say nothing. And he spits. Your crimes can't be justified. I don't really know what your crimes are. I don't think we want to join rebel farmers. I mean, that actually is kind of interesting. If we were just starting out and didn't have our own city, I'd be joining these guys immediately. Like, this would be where we would start out. I mean, if we got a bounty from the United Cities, these probably these guys are probably aligned against the United Cities, which we're kind of sort of aligned with, so... We'll say forget it, I shouldn't have come here. Then scram before you become our next victim? Oh, man. So my choices are to assault this place... ...and deal with the fallout, or to talk to him and get attacked in there for sure. Like, I'm sure I could walk everybody inside of there. Tell him he's coming with me, and then definitely get attacked. I think we're gonna- I think we're gonna assault this place, but I'm not doing it today. I think what we'll do... ...is, uh, I don't think we ever went to the edge of the map. I don't think so. So we're gonna do that. See what's going on out here. And, uh... Yeah, I think, uh... See, this is what I'm worried about, too. This is exactly, like... If I assault their base... And then a giant detachment comes home. Because, like, this is a really good time to take the base if I had mercenaries with me. But I do not feel like having... I don't feel like getting hit with, uh, second wave patrolling. Alright, I think that's where we're gonna leave it. I don't know how much I ended up cutting out at the end there, but, um... I ran all around the, uh, northern area of the map. Uh, I didn't find much. There was an unknown tower, but there were some cannibal patrols, and I didn't feel like risking us getting captured by any cannibals, so... When we come back, I'm going to run these two bounties uh, into town real quick, and we'll probably pick it up literally from this spot, but we'll probably have some mercenaries, I think. I don't know that I see a reason not to. I would like to get this, uh, this rebel farmer bounty, uh, and I imagine they are aligned against the United Cities, who we are aligned with, um, and it seems a, a good way to get this done will be to um, raid the town and try to capture Simeon. But we will do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Kenshi, and I'll see you next time.